reach out because go out, you go, have oh, to wait, change, talk about, talk about, go change out the narrative. Go out with. Go out, talk to people, interact with people. Like, bro. Say, I, 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 I've reached out and I've reached out and I've reached out and I've reached out and I've reached out so more that I, I gotta, I gotta die with some kind of, some kind of dignity. Be, that's not sustainable. Like, you too young, bro. No bro? disrespect to what y'all got going on. Mm -hmm. I've been trying to find good people for so long. I'm tired, bro. Mm -hmm. You gonna tell? I, I would say I'm this: it's, it's, it's a nobody want to see you go through this. I got. I think the thing is, man. Like so many times. Sometimes, man, you just you've done all that, man. Like he said, you know, you get tired. You get tired of doing that. You reach out or whatever, and it's not. It's perfectly fine to be you. It's perfectly fine to be a loner. If you're if you get wary of society and the only people in your life who haven't stolen from you are your kids. Now that you are an adult, now that at least right now you're out of basketball, are you searching out other people to build adult relationships with or are you so or has everything that's happened in your life been so difficult? You want me to with you? Yeah. I don't leave the house. I play basketball and I go home. I don't care what y'all do no more. Like, all I care about is playing basketball all day. I go home and I try to talk to my kids as much as I can. I don't see them as much as I can because I'm not traveling as much no more. I don't know what to expect when I leave this house no more. I, you, they, you know what I'm saying? I don't talk to nobody. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I've reached out and I've reached out and I've reached out and I've reached out and I've reached out so more that I, I gotta I gotta die with some kind of some kind of dignity. Be, that's not sustainable. Like you too young, bro. That's not sustainable, bro. You can still play ball. So you that's not sustainable. So 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 I can come up here. I can tell you somebody else's life, and I'm willing to do it. Hold on, I'm gonna turn my head back, but I'm gonna put a smile on for you. And I'm gonna, like, bro, I'm gonna. You tell don't you. gotta put nothing on for me. Like, like, or, yeah. or I can just sit back. and I'm gonna tell you what it is. Yeah. Like I, I'm not. I like like I know that's not sustainable, but at the same time, like what? Please, none of us can go do out. it. None of bro, us can do it alone, out. bro. Reach out because go out. you go have to change, 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 go out change the narrative. Go out with. Go out, talk to people, interact with people. Like, bro, real talk. I'll call us out. Us three. Bro, you be in my ass. Now, before you get to it, like, I can relate to this brother. You know what I'm saying? I, I watched a piece of this clip previously. You know, I can relate to the brother here. And sometimes, man, you just... You've done all that, man. Like he said, you know, you get tired. You get tired of doing that. You reach out or whatever. And it's not, it's perfectly fine to be you. It's perfectly fine to be a loner. If you're, if you get wary of society and, you know, keeping up with the Joneses and people wanting stuff from you, people trying to use you, people talking behind your back, chatty and things like that. And I had to learn that. I had a rude awakening over the past 10 years. You know what I'm saying? And discovering myself in the process, things that you thought really isn't what it is. You know what I'm saying? The, the duplicitous nature of most people and how foul some people are. It's not that everybody's negative, but some people just only tend to come across like a lot. Not only tend to, but they do. And this is the way we walk our paths in life. We come across certain people, a lot of people that will hurt us. Over and over and over. And sometimes you just say, man, I'd just rather be my, by myself. I enjoy my own company. I enjoy solitude. He's like, get out and go. Which I understand you can work on your social skills and things like that. But sometimes you just get to a point where you just prefer solitude, man. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It doesn't mean that you hate people or you're antisocial. Some people are antisocial. Some people are introverted. Some people are introverted extroverts. Some people just aren't built. And this guy is an athlete. You know what I'm saying? So he's been he's he's been the 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 object of people's eye and people wanting to be around him. But sometimes you just get tired and you look you look at some people and wonder like, what's wrong with that person? What's wrong with them? Why are they like that? Oh, they're crazy. Oh, they they think that they're too good. But you don't know you don't know people's story. And I know that's why I resonate so much with what he's talking about. And guys that are listening, ladies too. Don't have anybody try to make you feel bad just because you're tired. 
focus on you and and heal as long as you need to heal you know what i'm saying i'm not saying shut the world out completely you know what i'm saying but heal as long as as long as you need to man do that if y'all party, I don't party, bro. Don't, no, no, no. Don't. We don't party, bro. I'm talking about you have kids, I have kids. Come to my house. We can get bounce houses for the kids. We can sit back on the porch, drink a couple beers, drink some wine, hang out. Like, bro, that's not a normal, successful man's life to sit up in the house like that. Like, you got to find good people. And us three can be good people. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, it's not, that, that's I, like, not sustainable, like, 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 no bro. disrespect to what y'all got going on. Mm -hmm. I've been trying to find good people for so long. I'm tired, bro. Mm -hmm. you I, I would say oh, this. It's, it's, it's a 100%, bro. Like, it's it's like, so okay to be tired, like, though. I got... You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You ain't got nothing left. You ain't got nothing left to give I'll people. tell you this, bro. I'll be it. Like, whatever you need, dog. Like, if you just want to talk. Like, I, I for sure can't hoop with you. I'll go out there and pass that hole. Like, what we're saying is, bro, like... We want to be those people. Bringing you here wasn't about this. I wanted to talk basketball and hoops. But, dog, folks love you, dog. Nobody want to see you go through this. I got me a Beasley jersey out of the motherfucking house. Because I was down here when he got drafted. I think the thing is, man, like so many times, as black men, we are asked because of talent to carry everybody. We are not made to carry everybody. Black women... I definitely agree with that, man. You're not made to carry everybody. You're not made to be anybody's punching bag. You're not made to be anybody's doormat. And you can tell, bro, like, bro is emotional. You know what I'm saying? Because that stuff weighs heavy. And especially it takes a lot for a man to, and you could tell him talking earlier, to actually sit there and get all that, you know, to communicate that. You know what I mean? Some people have never been fucked over. Not much, much more or much less repeatedly by people that you love. Been betrayed constantly. There's a story. That's why, you know, you shouldn't judge anybody. You know, Kevin said this in an interview about that movie, The Joker, right? About his backstory and how he became the Joker. You know what I'm saying? People are ridiculed and made fun of. And if you don't want to, if you decide you don't want to endure that, you get ridiculed more because you don't want to be around this person where you have to be defensive and take these you know, be the brunt of jokes and things like that. You guys have family members where y'all sit back and y'all tolerate that. You have significant others that you lay next to that do these things. I cannot operate in a situation and be content and happy in a place like that. Or, you know, and that's why people tend to be loners and by themselves because it's like, okay, I'm not going to let myself down. I'm going to speak positively to myself. Or for some people who have been, they listening to these things and they start talking negatively to themselves till they get to a point where like, I'm going to start speaking positivity into myself, change my situation. And they're like, no, 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 you can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do that. I get it. Go where you have peace, guys. Even if that's at home, I'm not saying completely. I'm not an advocate. If you feel safe at home. If you feel secure at home, do that. I'm not an advocate of shutting yourself off from the world. But if it brings you peace and that's what you have to do, that's just what you have to do. But you have to get out there. We are people. We are social people. Um, whatever, you're, whatever you're socializing is. But it's, it's, it's hard to trust sometimes, man. And I get it. Men are asked to carry everybody. They are not made to carry everybody. Dog, it takes a fucking village, bro. And at some point, you got to have somebody who don't need shit from you, who don't want shit from you, who want to see you win, man. Like, we don't we do not do this shit for us. Yeah, like, like you want to build these things, but it's about these conversations. It's about bringing people on here and letting them tell their story. When Freddie said, man, you could tell your narrative, tell that shit and I'll preach it too. What we saying is, man, don't give up and we won't give up. I can't say I know exactly what you're going through, but I've seen a lot of, I've, I've heard a lot of stories and I've seen a lot of guys that have come from our demographic and our background. They really, you know, they, nah, they, but, they, but, they but, fight, but, they but, fight and they but, bust but their Everybody ass. just sit there and laugh. Nah, like, like, like you Antoine Walker go through the, whatever mm -hmm. he go through. Motherfuckers just sit there and make jokes. 
Allen Iverson was a fucking joke for a while until everybody found out that wasn't true. He got, he got, he turned. For, it's like, bro, like, no, bro. Being black is so fake right now. It's like motherfuckers only care when you when when it's time for somebody to die and the cameras to show. It's like, bro, motherfuckers is out here showing every fucking day that they need help. It's in the fucking music, and we only listen to it to these. It's die. It's like, bro, everybody out here need fucking help, and everybody walking around this motherfucker like they got it all mm -hmm. together. I agree with bro. Everybody doesn't have it together. We all go through stuff, but some people, I would say, are blessed with having strong bonds, having strong families, having solid families, having solid friends. Some people have never had a, like a real friend. You know what I'm saying? People go through things, but those are blessed with who have those strong family ties and who do have their back who won't betray them who won't do things to hurt them you know that's a beautiful thing you know something that i can't relate to that's why people like that like him it's so important where you have to work on yourself because at the end of the day all you got is yourself you have to come to your own rescue because if you're not good your fan especially when you got kids nobody else is good you're not going to be happy and whoever you're around is not going to be happy. So a lot of times, once again, we choose solitude to work on ourselves, which is what some men tend to do. Unlike women, women talk things out with their girlfriends, mothers, other women, things like that, which a lot of times they talk about you behind your back. But men, we try to go within and separate ourselves. You know, some some dudes get drunk. You know, people are really messed up, like he said. You celebrate certain things, people get high, people get drunk, they try to alter their mind state to get out of whatever it is that they're dealing with. Which I get it, if that's what you have to do, but like sometimes, man, like we have to look at people as they have their own story. You never know what people are going through. That's why it's good to be kind to people just in general. The cashier, person at the store, the person on the street, whoever. That's why I always say it's my job. It's, and I have to constantly remind myself whenever I step outside is to try and make the next person's day better if I can. You know, I have to constantly remind myself of that. So I say to you with this video, man, I thought this video was very powerful. It's very telling. It's a lot of emotional trauma that obviously bro is dealing with. A lot of us is dealing with even a man who's made millions like him. You would think that you got it all together. All of a sudden you become an overnight success. And you're making all this money and everybody's dependent on you. And if you can't, and you get all this stress that comes with it. And if you can't do certain things with certain people, they get upset and they treat you like crap, which isn't right. You know, but just my thoughts on it. Let me know what you guys think though, man. This is, it's, it's, it's very cold out here, man. And I, I can, I can totally, when I, when I saw the beginning of this, I could totally relate to what he's talking about. You know what I mean? So let me know what you think. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on link tree to book a session with yours truly. Ladies, if you're looking for some advice, fellas, if you're looking for some advice and you dealt with something like this, hit, hit me up. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm not a therapist or anything like that, but I can definitely tell you some coping mechanisms and things that I've done to get myself out of a funk. You know what I mean? Also, if you guys didn't know, I'm now offering YouTube coaching. If you're trying to build your channel, expand your channel, you just need some advice on your channel, video editing, things like that. Hit me up. The link is below in the description. Also, I'm doing advertising. If you guys are looking to advertise on one of my live streams, if you own a business, your channel, service, anything like that, hit me up. I got you. Link is below. Purchase all my books and merch. It helps to support the channel. Follow me on Instagram. I will follow you back. Listen, guys, much blessings and abundance. I appreciate you guys for rocking with me. Thanks for tuning in. With that being said, this is wisdom. Peace be upon you all. The mercy and blessings of the almighty. Stick around for the next video. Peace. God, it's God, it's God. I don't know. I'm put a light in the sky for the G's that don't turn memory from go. Blessings we send to the ghetto, you them.